today we'll model a rubber stamp and we'll get to it right away so click on the front view and the front plane and set sketch uh, now we'll go for a line right now I'll just go to origin click it extend it a little bit further and then end it I will dimension it so uh, now this is a dimension tool you just have to select the line which you want to dimension and then drag it and enter whichever amount you want to enter I'm going for a 5 inch now select a arc click it here and click it here and then end it now this is a 3 point arc so the first point here second here and third right over here now click on line again I will create a slanted line this time and then end it uh, now you can see that uh, this line is black and this arc and this line are blue in color when it is black it's fully constrained it can't move when it's blue you can move it as your desire so there are a few constraints here so I'm going to select the tangent constraint I click on that select this arc and this line see now that curve is perfectly tangent with that line now we'll complete now we'll do the base of the stamp so create a line and then set the dimension again earlier we did the dimension of line this time we'll do between two points select the first point and set the second point and uh, we'll go for three inch this time okay that's done now uh, complete the diagram so deselect the dimension select the line and then draw a line small line here and over here and the sketch is complete there is there are no gaps left here right so select revolve and revolve axis just like in the last video now we have a small model of a stamp so let's add a fillet right here so click on fillet by default it's a 0.2 inch let's change this to 0.5 now i think we'll go for a one inch so that's just that's it and now it looks good so click on the green tick now the rubber portion so select the bottom and click on sketch now instead of selecting a circle uh, I'm going to use the projection tool uh, it's uh, right here yeah click on that and select the boundary of the circle now we have a circle already in place I will take an offset button here click on that same circle it's going to offset that circle so now we have two concentric circles right so click on the green tick now select the center portion of these two and we'll be extruding just this part see so we'll click on new part because that's a different material and that looks fine right now click on the green tick Now let's make the text part so select this plane and the bottom and click on sketch see here text click on it I'm going to put the text somewhere here so I can easily drag and drop and let's just yeah click it we have a text toolbar right here now place whatever text you you want so I'll put this right here and in case of a stamp the text part is always a laterally inverted part so we have a horizontal flip option right here click on that so if you want this it has to appear like this so yes there you go now it's a little too big for that stamp so click on dimension and change it and go for 2.5 no, it's too small let's try for three now you can vary the dimensions uh, just by clicking it 
that's also too small so i'll go for a four inch double click and four inch yeah that's perfect now deselect the dimension and try to place it right at the center or wherever you desire so let's do some minor adjustment right here and yeah that is now green tick now if you're not sure of it you can actually tilt it and check it so this is exactly what you want right so that was the right tool to use now click on sketch and then on extrude we extrude this part right here right here and i'll click on new so each text appears individual and unique just like human beings right we have our own shortcomings and our own talents so let's see see this is what we wanted and this is what we got now let's check the model which we have made and there you go it's a small rubber stamp now regardless of how small or how big your step is with a little bit of courage and a lot of sheer determination you can also put a mark on this world until we meet in the next lesson my name is shibin thank you for watching